I now request, since we've come to the end of uh, our function for today, I now request Vice President of the India Islamic Cultural Center. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I am really grateful uh, on behalf of the India Islamic Cultural Center, its boards of trustees and executive committee to Mr. Frank Islam for spending his valuable time with us. He agreed to our request to come here and interact with the members and to give his vision and mission about education which he is spreading throughout the world. Sir, we, we are really benefited by your thoughts and we in India Islamic Culture Center have also got this as one of the objectives of our center to promote educational and social standards of Muslims apart from interfaith dialogue, national integration, communal harmony and promotion of Islamic culture and ethos. So we will be definitely working in this direction. We have been already working as uh, our president, Mr. Sirajuddin Qureshi, has enumerated before you. I am grateful to Dr. Sayyid Aitsham Asnain Saab, who had given a very, very insightful picture of education in our country, particularly among Muslims, and also about the achievements of Jamia Hamdard, which is an accredited university under, uh, by NAC under A category and one of the very foremost institutions in the country. I am grateful to Lieutenant General Zamiruddin Shah Saab, former Vice Chancellor, Aligarh Muslim University, to give his thoughts about education. He always talks about education at the school level. And that is really very important, apart from higher education, as uh, Hasnain Saab also pointed out, that how many of our children are going to school in the first place. Then the question of dropout comes. How many are going after 10 plus to the, to the university? And sir, in India, actually about 70% of the ed higher education is now controlled by private institutions. So there is a lot which we can do collectively with the active support of philanthropists like Mr. Frank Islam, India Islamic Cultural Center, universities like Jamia Hamdar, the Legal Muslim University, Jamia Melia Islamia, and so many other private institutions which Muslims have built uh, throughout the country. Because now we are not lacking institutions. We have institutions in Karnataka. Rahman Saab is here, he knows. Uh, they all are doing a wonderful work uh, to promote education in Karnataka, in UP, and so many places we are doing a wonderful work. Muslim community is not lagging behind in uh, contribution and in contributing in the promotion of education. I am grateful to His Excellency, the Ambassador of Indonesia, for agreeing to our request to come. I am thankful to all our Board of Directors, Board of Trustees, Executive Committee, our President, we have recently taken over the new team, as uh, Sirat Saab has told you in detail. And we look forward to your cooperation of all the members. We have 4,000 members, and 4,000 mem is a big team. It is not only the board of trustees or executive committee, or the president or the vice president, but 4,000 members of this center have to carry forward this task, sir which all the distinguished speakers have uh, given to us today. Or may, uh, I'm really sorry for those members and guests who could not get seats uh, this evening. Actually, we could not organize this function outside because of unpredictable weather. Though dinner is outside, but dinner is for a short time. And we thought if it rains, then it will disturb all of you. But uh, inshallah, as Raj Bhai has pointed out, our expansion plan. So in future, inshallah, you will not be having these difficulties with 2,000 capacity convention center and two auditoriums of about 600 capacity each. But uh, I think it will take another two years or so, inshallah. Thank you very much, all the ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, for coming.
uh, to attend this function this evening.